This is the latest generation hybrid from Cruiser's Yachts, the 38 GLS. The GLS in this new 38 stands for Grand Luxury Sport. And if you look at the design elements, you'll see some from the Cantus line and some from the Sport Boat line. And if you can believe, the beam on this 38-foot boat is 12 foot 6 inches. Now that gives you great stability in a sea state, but it also gives you an enormous cockpit. And that's where all the entertaining's really gonna happen on this boat. It's the above deck space that is just incredible. Now this boat's outboard powered, there will be a stern drive version down the road. But honestly, if you're not running a tender and you're gonna run some distance, the outboard version has the bigger fuel tank, 335 gallons to be exact. And that's gonna give you some incredible range. Cruising speed's about 35 miles an hour. Top speed's gonna be 53 with a moderate load. Joystick control is really crucial with outboard engines. They don't produce as much thrust as a counter-rotating stern drive at low RPM. The joystick allows all three engines to operate independently. And Cruisers has made joystick standard equipment on all of their boats now. Simply put the engines in neutral, grab the joystick, and it immediately activates. Twist the joystick to rotate the GLS. Push in any direction for translational movements. And with triples, there really is no need for a bow thruster. You can do everything from the stern of the boat. The challenge with outboards is always platform space, but not with a beach door. At the push of a button, in a couple of seconds, you now have access to the water from the starboard side and a whole new swim platform. The backrest on the lounge pivots, so you can now face the beach door at anchor in the water. There is seating for at least 10, with unobstructed access to either the platform or the bow. The galley is to port and features an inlay sink stainless fridge, and optional grill. There is storage under all seats with clever hinges that allow the seat to open all the way in one smooth motion. You get all this storage space down here because there are no engines down here. Just left of the helm is a sliding door to access accommodations below deck. Notice the separate sliding screen door is full length to maximize airflow while keeping the bugs out? Just another detail that so many others omit. Below, we find a convertible dinette with a second fridge, microwave, and TV mounted on a detachable pedestal. A hull side window to starboard features a blind to help control sunlight, while most of the lighting comes from indirect LEDs. The electrical panel is hidden behind a seat cushion. The standing wet head is well lit with a hull side window and the large vanity sink is yet another reminder that cruisers pays attention to how their customers use their boats. The primary berth is located amidships. It may not be full beam and doesn't have any hull side windows, but it does feature a wide opening and a full queen bed with climate controls right at the entrance. The cabin is a great place to escape from the sun or the rain, and there is enough room for four people to have a quick bite down here. The table lowers and there's a filler cushion and this converts into a berth, but when you look around, you wonder, how are you gonna fit an adult in this berth? Well, Cruisers has done two really cool things. Slide the cushions out of the way, and the bulkhead lifts up to expose storage for the filler cushion. It also provides room for your feet. Back on the water, we got a chance to pick up the pace a bit. Time to play with the Triple 300s is a blistering 5.5 seconds, which is very impressive for an 18,000 pound boat. But the basic specs only tell part of the story. Mercury's latest 300 horsepower V8 Barados are standard equipment on the 38 GLS. These V8s are 200 pounds lighter than the 350 horse supercharged Barados. That's 600 fewer pounds hanging off the transom. V8 Barados also get the latest advanced midsection with a damping system that is not only quiet and smooth, but also features selectable sport exhaust for times when you want to hear that V8 music. So now you can get somewhere quick, drop an anchor, and bring six, eight, 10, even 12 people with you and entertain them all day in comfort. And if you want to stay the weekend, there's enough space down below for two or four people to sleep quite comfortably. The helm on this boat is absolutely fantastic. You know, of all these years of cruisers development, they've just nailed the helm. The windshield sight lines are just below where I am standing. But when I sit, let the bolster down and have a seat, I'm staring directly through the windshield. Large flush mount Simrad electronics take care of the system's info and navigation. One of three stereo remotes is located just left of the waterproof switches, which are LED lit for instant status. Controls are mounted on a lower panel that doubles as an armrest with an inductive phone charging pad just behind the trim tab switches. 
The double wide helm chair has a flip up bolster and gorgeous polished wood footrest. Storage below the helm seat can house an optional ice maker. Another great thing about these Verados, you can trim them completely out of the water. Very handy if you don't have a lift, especially in salt water. And I really like the fact that Cruisers have made the swim platform large enough to walk past the outboards even when they're trimmed all the way up. The hard top on the 38 GLS is big. In fact, it extends aft to almost cover all of the cockpit seating. But the sun is always moving, and if you need a little more shade, this power sunshade is optional and it extends all the way back to almost cover the entire swim platform. Power sun tops take a while to open, but this one opens in a cinch. Unlike an Express, the GLS has more seating in the bow for six, maybe even seven people, which for me is a perfect spot to lounge in the hook. But my favorite spot to sit has to be these pedestals. While they're an option on the boat, they wouldn't be an option for me because this is the perfect spot to entertain from. As a host, you've got to be dynamic, you've got to move around a little bit. And this lets you still be part of the conversation, but you're sitting at the bar. This is one of the best cockpits for entertaining on the market today. If you're looking for something with a bit of speed that can entertain a group over the weekend, but also want the option to stay overnight on occasion, the all-new 38 GLS should be at the top of your list.